Ryan, I want to kick things off with you with this Macy's report. Uh, the stock now trading higher, reporting second quarter earnings better than expected, but taking their guidance down. Uh, a double beat, but lowering the guidance, talking about the macro story slowing. Uh, also, Cheryl mentioned the comp store sales down one and a half percent and digital sales down five percent. Your reaction? Yeah, I don't think it's a surprise here, right? Again, we just mentioned Target. We mentioned other retailers have had a really tough time here as consumers have shifted their behavior. And I think the fact the stock's up today, you know, speaks to the fact that the market's priced in a lot of bad news here, Maria. Um, you know, Degan just mentioned the yeah. stock's down almost 30 percent for the year. So I think overall, uh, when you look at it, it's like this isn't a surprise at this point. We know the consumer is spending their money elsewhere. Uh, we're not sitting inside anymore, just ordering consumer goods online. Those days are over. Uh, you know, there's more money being spent out in the economy to live. So I, I think this is all good news. Um, because, again, I feel like you know, a lot of this bad news has been priced into the market, and that's why we've seen such a magnificent rally since the middle of June. Um, and that's why my optimism stays intact here. Ryan, what about this IPO market? We're talking about the worst year in two decades, even though Instacart is one of the few companies moving yeah. toward a public listing as soon as this year. Um, Instacart, your thoughts, and, and uh, obviously the banks have talked about this uh, freeze in the IPO market. When is that going to uh, just start thawing out? I mean, it really depends on the Fed. And, and Dennis, you're looking very angelic and all white this morning. I appreciate that. Um, you know, it's talking about <laughs> the, the Fed being very, very hawkish going into uh, the fall. And they've taken the punch bowl away. So the party's over for all these IPOs that were going out. I mean, just put in perspective, last year this time, you had $100 billion raised in IPOs for the year. We only have $5 billion this year. So, you know, Wall Street's tolerance for companies that have no earnings, uh, may have earnings out like 100 years in the future, is, is certainly going away here. Um, Instacart's a great example of this. They were valued at like $39 billion. They're now only valued at $24 billion. So you're seeing your valuation cut in half. No one wants to go public in this environment. And I'll say this, is it's always a horrible time to buy a company when it goes IPO if you're a retail investor. The retail investor always gets caught holding the bag because typically that's when mm. the numbers are the best. That's when owners are looking, saying it's time to sell because our pipeline doesn't look as good. And this is what happens. You know, typically IPOs underperform for the next five years. Um, and that's what we're seeing now. IPO markets down like 40% this year. It was down 10% last year. So I think it's going to be a long yeah. time before we see those animal spirits come back. Um, I think the IPO market's going to be dead for, for quite a while.